Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you're watching this video. Terry and I want to give you a few small steps that are going to help you turn your customer into your champion. Yes, your company's most valuable asset is how it's known to its customer. A great quote that we love by Brian Tracy. Welcome to this episode of Small Steps to Doing Big Business with the Merit Group partners, Shamara Cox and Terry Dove Pittman. Okay, let's get right into the steps. So here is step one. You got your paper and a pen? All right. You want to identify your primary customer, who they are, what their focus is. Remember that 80-20 rule. You're going to have 100% of customers, right? 80% of them are going to demand a whole lot of work, but you need to focus on that 20% that is your top customer. Identify who they are. When you identify your top customers, you're going to be able to put them into what we call a client organizational model. You'll be able to take your customer from an A to a B, excuse me, from a C to a B to an A. C clients are those that are pretty good clients. We like them. They pay. Um, they might be a little more difficult from time to time, <laughs> a little more demanding. Yeah. The B clients are, I mean, we love them. They're great. They're less demanding, don't need a lot of work, and they're a pretty good price point. But our A clients, number, one. number ones, great price point, easy. They love the work. They're champions. They refer clients. They stick with you, and they like to upgrade on their services. So that's number one. Identify who your primary customers are. Now, step two, identify the support customer and create a strategy to transition them into a primary customer. Yes. A support customer is a person that, that you work with them. They're pretty cool, but they're kind of testing you out to see if they really like your services. Yes. What you need to do is create a strategy to work with them right. so they can be your number one client. Get them back into that top client like Shamara just talked about because some people just kind of test it out to see yes. if this is what they want. Right. But if you start to work with them and create a plan, mm -hmm. they will transition from that support customer to a primary customer. And those are great referral base. Absolutely. All right. So step three, you want to learn what your customers are not saying. Yes. Silence really does speak volumes. So that's why we survey our customers. We want to know what are you not telling us? It's hard for them to sometimes express what they're really feeling on the inside. Maybe they don't like the fact that you have to go 10 days before they see you again. Or maybe they don't like the fact that they get three conference calls a month and they'd rather see you face to face. Or maybe they don't like the fact that you haven't come into your office and they'd rather get a phone call. Or maybe they don't want a confirmation call. Maybe they don't want that particular type of service, but you don't offer what they really want, but they really have fallen in love with you. So you got to make sure what are they not saying to you. Survey your customer. Ask them, hey, what could I do and what could I do better to make you happier? Step four is create solutions that solve the unspoken need. Yes. As Shamara said, there's oftentimes, once you start surveying your customers, you'll find stuff that you would have never thought of. So what you do is create a solution or marry a current solution yes. to meet that need, to make sure that every time they come to you, all their business needs are being met. Yeah. Very true. Um, that's so important, especially when you have a high volume of consumers and customers. You want to make sure that you're trying to meet their need, each and every one of them. If you're in retail and you're selling like products and cups and mugs and pins, it's kind of hard to build that relationship. But you can use technology to really do that. Survey monkeys, excellent. Constant contacts, excellent. You can also send emails out to get response, keep on an auto response system. There's ways to keep your customer abreast of what's going on and really. Step number five, give them a voice. Your customer wants to be heard. It's not just all about us. It's not just all about you. It's about your customer. Because without them, we wouldn't be here. That's and right. you wouldn't be here, That's right? right. <laughs> and step six, I love this. Become partners in their success That's right. and characters in their story. Just don't think of them as profit. Just That's don't right. think of them as income. You are providing a service that they needed to create a journey for them. That's so right. make sure that you're looking at their success just like it's your success. That's right. And you'll be more personally invested. And once customers know that, they trust you. Trust is a huge, yeah. huge factor in retaining clients. If they trust that you can do whatever they need in your service area, they will be more likely to refer. They'll be more likely to continue with your services or mm -hmm. sometimes even ask you stuff that you don't even know how to do just because they trust you. Right. So be partners in their success. Be a vital character in their journey in life. Awesome. All right. Well, those are six small steps to helping you turn your customer into a champion. Yeah. We can't wait to motivate you again. See you soon. See you soon.
Thank you for watching Small Steps to Doing Big Business. For more great information, visit themarriagegroupindy.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Indie Biz TV Shows.